When you think about it, islands aren't supposed to just, you know, disappear. But that's exactly what happened in the Caspian Sea. NASA satellites watched a brand new island emerge only to see it vanish completely within a year, like a ghost. And this wasn't a glitch or a mirage. It was real land, formed by a violent mud volcano, then swallowed back into the sea like it never existed. So what's going on here? The ghost tale started in early 2023, off the coast of Azerbaijan. There's this place called the Kumani Bank, a so-called mud volcano in the Caspian Sea, about 15 miles out. It has erupted multiple times, and each time, this led to a fascinating story, the one we're learning about now. When it erupted recently, it spewed a chaotic mix of mud, gas, and rock into the sea. But this time, NASA's satellites were there to catch it all on camera. In November 2022, the volcano's peak was still hidden beneath the waves. Just four months later, a brand new island appeared, stretching about 1,300 feet across. And then, in December 2024, it was gone, completely erased from the map. NASA said it had retreated from view like an apparition. The same thing happened in 1861, 1950, and several times since. But how does it work? Well, most people think of volcanoes as fiery mountains that spew molten lava. But mud volcanoes, like the Kumani Bank, are a completely different kind. They don't erupt with lava. Instead, they blast out thick, bubbling mud, sometimes mixed with methane gas. And that's a stinker. Scientists have found over 1,100 of them on land and shallow water. And there may be over 10,000 more hiding deep in the ocean. Now, these things are strange, dangerous, and still barely understood. And Azerbaijan is just a gold mine for them. Over 300 mud volcanoes have been counted on land and offshore, more than anywhere else on Earth. So, why so many? Because the Arabian and Eurasian tectonic plates collide under Azerbaijan, pushing against each other. This creates crazy pressure. Deep underground, water gets heated, but instead of melting rock, it mixes with minerals to create thick, pressurized mud. Tectonic forces squeeze this mud upward through faults and cracks in the Earth's crust. And when the pressure becomes too much, well, boom! It suddenly bursts, blasting mud, rock, and gas into the air. And sometimes, these eruptions create temporary islands, like the one NASA just saw. But there's another crazy part. Mud volcanoes aren't just messy they can be terrifyingly dangerous. Some mud volcanoes are small puddles just a few feet across. But others? Well, they're absolute monsters. The tallest known mud volcano is about 2,300 feet high, nearly as tall as the Burj Khalifa skyscraper. The widest one is 6 miles across, big enough to swallow an entire city. Which brings us to the weirdest part. In some cases, they don't just spew mud, they ignite sending massive fireballs into the sky. A horrible fountain of mud, gas, and flames towering hundreds of feet high. One of those happened in 2001, and it burned for days. That's why they often lead to horrifying catastrophes. In 2006, there was the Lucy mud volcano disaster in Indonesia. It erupted out of nowhere in the middle of a populated area. And what's even crazier, the mud flow never stopped. It's still erupting today. It buried tons of villages under the mud. Over 24,000 people lost their homes, and scientists predicted that this horror would continue for 20 more years. At first, no one knew what caused it. Some think it was just an earthquake two days later. Others blame drilling operations nearby. A gas company was exploring right before the eruption happened. Well, whatever the reason, it has turned entire towns into ghostly wastelands. And they're not just dangerous for us. They're a disaster to the planet in general. They just love to leak greenhouse gases. They constantly leak methane, one of the most powerful gases that warms up our entire planet. These guys release between 30 and 140 million tons of methane per year. That's up to 9% of all natural methane emissions, and more than some entire countries produce. Well, that's the estimate, at least. Since most mud volcanoes are deep underwater, we still don't know how much gas is escaping into the ocean and the atmosphere. Many of them lie on continental slopes, too. That means they're holding huge amounts of trapped methane. If they suddenly decide to go wild, yeah, that won't be good for anyone. 
Some past eruptions in Azerbaijan have been insane as well. A few mud volcanoes there blasted flames so high that pilots could see them from airplanes. On July 4, 2021, a mud volcano on Dashli Island erupted like a true monster. The flame shot up 1,600 feet into the sky, that's taller than the Empire State Building. The fireball was visible from miles away. Even the capital of the country, Baku, saw it light up the night sky. Luckily, no oil platforms nearby were damaged, but it really scared people for a moment. Another one, also near Baku, erupted in 2018 so massively, it shook the ground for miles. Luckily, the Kumani Bank isn't such a monster. Well, compared to those other examples. In 1950, the Kumani Bank erupted again, creating a horrifying pillar of fire about 330 feet high. It burned for 15 minutes. This created a large oval island as well, and it disappeared just about half a year later. Then another powerful disaster took place in 1959. For almost 20 minutes, flame reached the heights of about 650 feet, like about two Statues of Liberty, including the base. The eruption brought up breccia, a type of rock made of broken fragments, and this time, a newly formed island lasted for three more years before eroding away. The thing is, those islands are never built to last. Mud volcano islands aren't made of solid rock, they're fragile piles of sediment. The Caspian Sea's waves and currents slowly eat away at them, washing it back into the ocean bit by bit. NASA isn't sure if the 2023 Kumani Bank eruption was as fire as that, but it didn't last that long either. All that remained was a faint shadow of land, barely peeking above the water. But will it rise again? Well, probably. Just don't get too excited. The Caspian Sea might create more ghost islands in the future, only to erase them again, as if they never existed. Now interestingly, not all mud volcanoes are disasters waiting to happen. Some are actually ancient holy sites. Deep in Balochistan, Pakistan, stands Chandragu, a sacred, constantly bubbling mud volcano. Hindu pilgrims believe it's a gateway to the deities. They visit it as part of their journey to the nearby temple. Before entering the temple, they tossed offerings into the mud pool – coconuts, rice, and sometimes even money. This volcano seems safe. People prayed to it for centuries. It never erupts, just slowly breathes, like a living being. But even though it's sacred, it's still dangerous. The land around it is unstable, and eruptions can happen without warning. What's even crazier is that we might not be alone in having these bizarre formations. Scientists think that Mars may have mud volcanoes too. NASA has recently spotted strange dome-like creatures on the red planet. That could be ancient Martian mud volcanoes. And if that's the case, that's just another clue into an entire pile of evidence that Mars used to have liquid water. If they investigate it, they might even find some signs of life there. Well, maybe. They also think that Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, might have a version of these guys. Except instead of mud, they erupt slushy water and ice. Now, the worst part about those guys is that we still don't fully understand them. Scientists can't predict how much methane they really release why some of them erupt while others continue to sleep, and what they can tell us about life on other planets. We barely scratch the surface, literally. The deepest mud volcanoes are thousands of feet under the ocean. That's why many of them are completely unstudied right now. But perhaps they'll tell us their stories one day. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.